Florida pastor Edward Williams has been arrested after allegedly being in an inappropriate relationship with a 17-year-old student. We're going to get into all the details. Off the top, guys, as I mentioned, I am now on Rumble. Go subscribe there to me as quick as you can. The link below. That is our backup. Because of the increased censorship here, we lost our monetization. Could lose this channel at any point as well. And if God lays it on your heart to do so, to help donate to our ministry, we would greatly appreciate that. The links to do so are down below. If you choose Patreon, $5 a month, you get my bonus podcast where I talk more about sensitive information. Plus there, we also include the links to these YouTube videos because YouTube is not always alerting you when all the new content comes out. Patreon will do that. Plus there, you can also comment on these videos censorship-free because YouTube is blocking and hiding a lot of the comments that you guys write now. So uh, Patreon is definitely the way to go. I highly recommend it. All that being said, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, another pastor has fallen. We've been covering this here for a while now. Now, we're talking about the senior pastor of the, yes, the Jesus People Full of Faith Ministries in Pembroke Pines. The lead pastor there, Edward Williams. Well, he's not just a pastor, 44 years old. He's also a football coach, or I should say was a football coach at Hialeah High School, Miami-Dade County. Now, the school released a statement today, as a matter of fact, that, well, the pastor and coach has been fired from his position after learning about the allegations. There was an anonymous tip that was put out there on Tuesday. There was an investigation that was quickly done into the matter, and then the Miami-Dade police went ahead and made the arrest of Williams. Now, they sat down and actually interviewed the girl that he was allegedly in this relationship with, and she confessed to everything. I mean, she said, you know, we were, you know, planning to go public with our relationship when she turned 18. But the fact that she said that the couple did go around, they were in love, they held hands, that they kissed. She said they didn't do any of the, uh, you know, the dirty, dirty thing. However, text messages from Williams maybe proved otherwise. And I'll make sure I put the link down below. Uh, you guys can read that for yourself. I won't repeat it here on this video but you can check it out there in the link below. Williams, by the way, is married with two children. So not only do you have this uh, this pastor who's uh, getting involved in inappropriate uh, dealings with a young girl, but he's also married and cheating on his wife at the same time, all the while standing behind the pulpit at Jesus People Full of Faith Ministries and preaching the gospel. Another wolf in sheep's clothing has been brought down and it's sad it's sad to see this you had somebody here in the community that you know previously the school said highly i said he had no previous issues no disciplinary action was was made against him he was pretty loved in the community he was a good coach uh the church itself has not yet released a statement so we're waiting to hear from them the school was quick to do so though so we'll wait and see i mean i'm sure his days as a pastor are no doubt over. The church, I'm sure, is just working on their statement right now of what they're going to say. And you can imagine the shock this will be to the congregants there and all the others in church leadership of knowing what Williams did here. It's just absolutely sick that we have so many uh, of these men of God, supposed men of God, that are behind the scenes doing this sort of thing. You know, they're cheating on their wives. You know, they're involved with these younger girls. I mean, it's just sick. But the Bible warned us that this would happen. We would see a departure of the faith in the last days, and that's exactly it. Many are falling away. God is exposing it all. He's allowing it to all come out. We're finding who's truly with him and who's not. And I think, unfortunately, we're going to see even more of it to come. Now, I mentioned all of this, and we do these videos because it's part of our ministry. We are not just trying to give you guys the prophetic news headlines and show you the soon coming return of the Lord, but we want to also reach people to Jesus Christ. And this is your opportunity now. If you've never received him as your Lord and Savior, well, here you go. You start by first acknowledging that you're a sinner. We all are. But God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. Now, what do we need to do? We need to repent of our sin. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but to actually turn from a lifestyle, habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He will wipe that sin away. The Bible says... He won't even remember it anymore. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is 
no greater decision you will ever make than the one you make to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more for you guys on this down below if you want to check it out. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing to us. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.